All right, thank you for coming. Um, yesterday, major crime at Northern Districts detectives commenced an investigation into the murder of 55-year-old mother, Jodie Jewell, who lives out at Modbury North. We know that Jodie was murdered between about 6 and 6, 10 p.m. on Tuesday, the 21st of November, 2023, at 169 Kelly Road at Modbury North. Police were called to the address because a friend of Jodie's had become concerned Jodie had reported to the friend in recent times that she had been the victim of domestic violence, which had never been reported to authorities. And when she couldn't contact her, she became concerned that something bad may have happened. As a result, she contacted the police. The police went there. They later made an entry to the premises and sadly found Jodie um, had, was dead within the premises. Forensic response section and major crime detectives, Northern Districts of Detectives, that supported by others from across the metropolitan area attended and conducted an intensive investigation last night. Uh, we know that Jodie died from a gunshot wound. We won't say what type of firearm or how many shots or where she was shot um, for operational reasons. But this morning we obtained a warrant. <coughs> this morning we obtained a warrant for the arrest of her husband, Kevin Jewell, in the Adelaide Magistrates Court on a charge of murder. Kevin lived at the premises with Jodie. He lived in an upstairs area, um, and Jodie and her daughter lived downstairs, and they'd been somewhat uh, estranged um, for a period of time. We believe Kevin is armed with a rifle and ammunition, and he would know that police are looking for him. He's considered to be armed at this point and is considered dangerous and should not be approached by anybody. We know he's driving a white Mitsubishi Triton. Uh, we'll have a photo for you in a minute, but registration number XTN167. It's quite a distinctive vehicle. It's got a heavy checker plate tray, aluminium checker plate tray on the rear, and a very large toolbox immediately behind the cabin. And the last sighting of that vehicle was at 7.28 p.m. yesterday evening, uh, about five kilometres south of Port Wakefield, heading north. There's been no sightings of the vehicle since that time. Kevin Jewell is described as 55 years of age, his average build about um, 90 kilos, about 178 centimetres, and scruffy appearance. Um, we're not sure what sort of clothes he'd be wearing today. We don't know where he is and we don't know what direction he's gone from Port Wakefield. We'd encourage anybody, if they see Kevin Jewell or his vehicle, to not engage with him, but to immediately contact police and report his location to police immediately. Um, if anybody has other general information about their relationship or perhaps what the motive was, then they should bring Crime Stoppers in a normal manner. But if anybody sees him, I emphasise, ring the police immediately and don't engage with him. If Kevin is watching, I make this appeal to him. Kevin, you can't undo what has been done last night and a warrant has been issued for your arrest today. We're actively looking for you and we will locate you. I encourage you forthwith straight away without any delay to engage with a solicitor and negotiate your safe surrender to police. So just repeating that Kevin, contact the solicitor and contact the police and arrange for your safe surrender. I'm happy to take questions. Does anyone else live at that property? Yeah, Jodie lived there with their daughter. How old was their daughter? What is their daughter? Uh, teenager. Is, is that also Kevin's daughter? Yes. And do you believe the his in is Kevin's? Yes. He's a pea plater? Uh, I'm not sure that he's a pea plater, but it's his, his youth and that youth's own registered welfare in the daughter. Um, obviously, she, she's facing the trauma of, of what's happened, um, and she's been looked after by relatives. Is the belief that she was in the house at the time? No, she wasn't in the house at the time. Do you believe that the firearm he used in the alleged murder is the one he's armed with on the run? Yes. And is that a registered firearm? Yes, Kevin's a licensed 
firearms holder, the firearms were registered, the firearms were stored in accordance with the Firearms Act, and there's nothing in the antecedents about Kevin or his family that would prevent him from owning a firearm. And nothing was reported about Kevin before this incident? No. Um, this is the fourth woman to have died in suspicious Can you say This is the fourth woman to have died in suspicious or unexplained circumstances in a week. Why is this happening? Do you have a message for the community? Um, every death is an absolute tragedy. Um, it's not for me to talk about those deaths. That's within the remit of somebody else. So I just want to stay focused on this particular case. But that that is terribly sad. And just checking, sorry, you believe she was killed between six pm and six ten? Yes. And when were police notified? Big pardon. When were police notified? Oh, I'd have to check the, the time, but yeah. Was it the, not long afterwards? Was it uh, that neighbours heard a gunshot or no. anything else? No, it? it's uh, it's the concerned friend who Jodie had confided in that she'd been the victim of unreported domestic violence and Jodie hadn't been in contact with her and she started to worry and think what if, what if something bad's happened, they'd contact the police and she did and we're grateful to that and it was the right decision. Were um, there any other correspondence to that friend in that immediate lead up to the murder? I'm not sure what you mean. Did anything else indicate that she was in trouble at that time? Um, not that I've not that I'm aware of at the moment, but she's obviously confided in her friend over a period of time. So that will form part of the, the evidence used. I know it's only early in the investigation, the police have a time frame of when she was uh, likely to have been shot and killed. Is there, I think, between six and 16. Last of us, so that was when the offence yep. happened. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. I just wanted to, sorry. How do we know that? Oh, I won't that, but the investigators know that's the time when it happened. So that's that's just the house. Um, pretty, lived pretty well up, up the top, and the wife and daughter down the bottom. That's on the corner, bottom block. Doc, could you talk through the, is there a significance with the white car at the front, or is it just... No, there's a number of vehicles there that are not related. The other vehicle would have been in the driveway. Um, the four-wheel drive that he's got, um, there's multiple vehicles there. He's picked probably the best, the one in the best condition to, to drive away. Um, that's Kevin, his description. His hair's shorter, but that's the most recent photo we've got of him. I can also say that late in the afternoon and preceding the murder, um, he was seen to be removing a number of items from the house and placing them in the car. Um, rucksacks, eskies, and other items. We're not sure what they were. Um, in preparation, possibly. Uh, that's um, from Port Wakefield Road, um, heading north. It's just a good, good view of the front of the vehicle. Um, it's a very distinctive tray. It's a bit different to normal trays on those vehicles. It's all headed checker plate and a huge box in the bag. Um, and we've got a one at the back, which is a good view as well. So was it traffic cameras that have tracked him to yeah, Port is. Wakefield? This one is, mm. this is Port Wakefield. So that's Port Wakefield traffic yep. camera? Yep. And that's just the back, you can see what it looks like. So it's it's a fairly distinctive, mm -hmm. I know there's lots of trading vehicles, but if you saw that car, you would know what it is. Um, would you? Des, if we could just ask you another question, just in relation to the car, back, back to the woods and Lecton, if that's okay. Yep. Um, Given the, the type of vehicle and what looks to be quite off-road capabilities, is there concerns that he might be going off grid away We've, from townships? Um, well, certainly his activity preceding the murder um, leads us to think that's a possibility. He also um, likes hunting, he likes camping, and he, he's known to go and basically set up in the bush um, in his normal relaxation time. So that's, that's a very strong motive. Do you mind just... Um repeating what you said about what he was doing preceding the murder? Yeah, sure. He, um, we have some evidence that early yesterday afternoon um, that he was removing things from the home. Um, we know there were some backpacks. Um, we know there was an esky um, and some other bulky items. So it may be the case um, that he was preparing to go to a country location and camp. It would be consistent with that.
Does the victim work or do anything outside of the home? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I have to find that out. Is that an account from neighbours that they saw him packing? I won't say where it came from because other people will worry if they then become at risk because of something so. Do you think the murder was premeditated? Uh, I won't speculate on that. I've got my own view on it, but it's probably not right for me to share that. And so teenage daughter, is she of school age? Does she attend school? Yes, she's school age. What resources do you have looking for this vehicle in the regions? This, the, the, the alerts for this vehicle and for Kevin went out very, very early um, yesterday evening and we've got an enormous amount of um, resources looking for him. The alert has gone to every police officer in the state. We had aircraft looking for him um, and we've got a large amount of people devoted to following him. Is and that's the emphasis at the moment is on identifying where he is. Is that what the arrest warrant does? Does it alert every officer or no, is it just we, a legal we, As soon as we, in something like this, we identify a suspect and we get it out straight away to every police officer in the state. So we've got 5,000 people looking for him instead of a handful. How at risk are people in the community you were saying that he is a risk at the moment? How Big pardon? How at risk are people in the community? Uh, uh, my, my advice to people would be that he he doesn't, there's, he's not in conflict with any other person in the community. He's obviously dangerous because he knows he's wanted and he knows what he's done and he probably doesn't want to go to prison. And, um, are there known areas of maybe camping or if it looks like he's quite well equipped and, and understands bush and going off grid for a while, are there any known areas that he liked to frequent? Or? Um, there is there is some talk he's gone to northern areas, mid north, west coast, but realistically he could be anywhere in the state. Last question. Can I just ask you about the Palau extradition and how hard has it been for major crime detectives to bring an attempted murder suspect back to be um, prosecuted? I won't talk about Palau except to say that that investigation is going very well. I'm, I'm aware there's a suppression that may have been granted, so I won't say anything about it at the moment, but um, I expect in the near future we might have more to say. What is the process of that extradition compliance? It's just a normal extradition process. She'll eventually come back to Australia and then if she goes to another city, we'll extradite her from there. From there. But I, I don't want to talk about it because I only got advised of the suppression order before I walked into here. Um, but we might have more to say in the future. Can you give an update on the uh, so to Sure. Um, a, a release has gone out about a man who was arrested up on the APY lands. Um, he appeared in court yesterday, I believe, and will be remanded in custody, and we're not searching for anybody else in respect to that matter. Did he live at that same property in Felixstowe? Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you want any photos otherwise from here at all, or will they be on the news? That's it. We'll send you stuff for the release. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Is there a family-approved photo of the 